um, begins to talk about like um, different relationship <laughs> patterns, um, what happens when you're in harmony, and um, again, um, disintegration, integration, a grace. So again, it it has a lot of biblical terminology in it, but that's what um, deception is. How do you know that you're deceived unless you are tricked? And this is what the Bible says, that even the very elect will be tricked. And again, I repent uh, for referring this as a reference and open y'all up to divination and sorcery and witchcraft. I am sorry. And Jesus is Lord and he is good. And also, um, even the people that introduced that to me because I was in a leadership course at a church and they taught it as like biblical truth. But again, just because something is accurate doesn't mean it's biblical truth. And you have to make sure that you study to show yourself approve a good workman that does not need to be um, ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And yeah, let me look up that Bible verse because I think I just read it. <clears throat> so that again, that is 2 Timothy 2, 15. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so... Um, what this means is that the Bible is the only truth that we have, it is the ultimate truth. And it says, take every thought into captivity and make it submit to the word of God. If anything you're reading, any of these add-ons to the Bible, um, do not submit to his word. Um, or even have a form of godliness, but not deny the power thereof. Um, when you begin to take on identities, when you begin to... Um, take on these numbers, take on um, these names. It says all those who are in Christ Jesus are a new creation. The old has passed away. And so how am I taking on any type of identity that is not named in the Bible? That is not named in Christ. Any numerology, any horoscopes, any zodiac signs, any palm reader, any of this stuff. And so if the Bible doesn't identify it as an identity, as a son of God, <laughs> um, as a pastor, a, uh, a prophet, an evangelist, a teacher, or an apostle, these are all the names, or a disciple, a Christian, a believer. All these things are listed in the Bible. Anything else that you try to take on as identity um, is <laughs> witchcraft and this is why it says in Romans 12 um, do not conform to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind you read all these things you hear all these podcasts you watch all these YouTube videos they are transforming <laughs> your mind and, and they're making you conform to the principalities to the systems of the world but Again, all these things are just tools. They just have degrees of truth. But the ultimate truth comes from Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so I just want to end there with um, just a prayer of repentance. Because I'm just going to give you all a heads up. If you have been practicing zodiac signs, horoscopes, numerology, chakra, enneagram, palm reading, tarot card reading, all that crap. Most likely you have a demon <laughs> or a unclean spirit on the inside of you or demonic possession or demonic oppression because you have opened your gate to witchcraft, the occult, the demonic, and the satanic and all that weird stuff. But that's the power of Jesus Christ being the light of the world. He's able to cast out demons through repentance. And so you're watching this video for a reason. And so it's very easy <laughs> um, to cast out a demon by the name of Jesus Christ. So remember that Jesus is Lord. And that is Adonai. <laughs> Yahweh, the creator I am. And all the systems and Elohim, the creator. 